Now, I know there is a time that you sit down and you look at how to make a paper snowflake. And you see me make one in one of the other videos. And you say to yourself, and probably to your family with you, children, I'm sorry to tell you that we don't have one of those fancy exacto knives like you see Easel Monster have. We are just too poor to afford one of those. The only tool we have in the house is a box cutter. Well, boys and girls, if that's your story here at Christmas, a miracle has occurred. Because really, a box cutter is the very best tool you can use to cut out a paper snowflake because you are cutting multiple thicknesses of paper. So, square up your paper, square up your triangle across that farthest edge that the snowflake can possibly be and cut back to that. Now, when you are using a box cutter, always cut away from your other fingers. And never, ever, ever lose control of the knife. Never lose control of the box cutter. It's the most important rule there is in knives. The second is very closely related to it, which is cut with a sharpened blade. There are more accidents caused by dull knives than there are by sharp knives. Think of that as a piece of Christmas advice from Easel Monster. Now I'm also trying to think of the simplest shapes I can pull out of this snowflake. I am only cutting these triangles out of this snowflake. And if you are doing similar, try to cut off the ends of any triangles that were pre-existing. Cut the corners of the triangle off in different angles and see what happens. Very rarely will you make one snowflake. When you sit down to make a snowflake, you make a lot of them. Because snowflakes really are something that's better in a group than in an individual. You might find individual beauty, but there's more beauty when you see it as a blanket of white out there on the ground on Christmas morning. And on Boxing Day, December 26th, all of it can be melted away by the sun and the palm trees can come back out and we can eat bananas and pina coladas and virgin pina coladas, boys and girls, for those of you who are not old enough to consume the actual pina colada, which you will later on. But if no one's looking and you sneak one and I see you, I will never, ever tell on you. Because I love you and Merry Christmas. That's what I say. Well, I hope you're planning on having a good Christmas. I hope you have purchased some things, or better, made some things that you are excited to give to your loved ones, people in your life, people you care for, people you took the time to make something for. But, but boys and girls, if you're not really, really good at making things, trust me, spend money. Money is the way to go. No one ever, ever says, oh, you got me money? Really? No, no. It's okay. Give money or things that cost a lot of money. Boys and girls, it's okay to give things that cost a lot of money. If you're sending me things, it's okay to send me things that cost an awful lot of money. It's, it's okay. I will always say thank you. I will always be grateful if you give me really, really nice top-of-the-line things. I'm just saying.
Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> See you next time.